Greetings, and thank you for joining us. Today we are doing something a little different. During our travels, we have the opportunity to drive various vehicles to get from place to place. Many times, these vehicles are the latest and greatest. On our recent journey, we got our hands on a 2024 Lexus RX 350 SUV. As we drove around in this vehicle, I noticed some similarities to other cars that I've had recently. So, I thought maybe this would be a good opportunity to do a review of this luxury SUV. Whether you like or hate the Lexus RX 350, I think you will be interested in this particular iteration. Lexus made a bold change in this fifth-generation vehicle and I am sure true fans of the car, may not like what they have done. But, before we get to the 2024 edition, let's look back at the history of the RX series. There are now five generations of this vehicle. About every five years, Lexus gives this very popular vehicle a complete workover. The fifth generation is no exception. However, unlike previous updates, this update may have been driven by tougher fuel regulations affecting all car manufacturers. Lexus has used the same 3.5-liter V6 engine for nearly a decade. This internal combustion engine is not only the perfect blend of horsepower and fuel efficiency for a vehicle this size, but it is also nearly unmatched in reliability. Starting in 2023, Lexus took a bold step and replaced the 3.5-liter V6 with a 2.4-liter V4 turbo. The overall size and weight of the car didn't change much, but the power plant was totally reimagined and downsized. This is significant since the former V6 was producing about 295 horsepower. The V4 with the turbo is putting out about 275 horsepower. This 7% decrease in overall horsepower may not seem like a lot, but you do immediately notice the difference. In the driver cabin, you are greeted by a 12-inch by 7-inch touchscreen. This screen is used to display maps, music, driver management features and personal contact data. It is the personal contact data which should be seriously considered prior to plugging in your smartphone. Your data is not safe. Lexus posts plainly that they will collect, transmit and share your data. You are given an option to opt out, but you have no way of verifying the security of the location data or personal contact information once it has been collected. And as you can clearly see here, there doesn't seem to be any shortage of trust. This vehicle has just over 1,000 miles and has already gathered data from at least four guests. Whether they knew and consented or innocently just trusted the system, their footprint remains well after they've left the vehicle. Always think twice before accepting terms of service. Convenience is nice, but to put yourself at risk in a loaner vehicle may not be advised. Now let's talk about drivability of this vehicle. As is the case with all Lexus RX 350s, driver comfort, unmatched smooth ride, and high-end materials are standard. However, unlike previous versions of this car, the 2024 model elevated the experience. It is hard to put into words how quiet it is inside the cabin while driving at road or highway speeds. The dampened suspension provides a firm ride with nearly zero road noise. It is almost unbelievable how quiet this car is while in motion. The low noise and smooth ride, make short or long trips an absolute pleasure. After several hours driving down the highway, I did not experience any noise fatigue that usually occurs on long trips. Stopping for fuel and snacks was more to stretch than to take a break. Bravo Team Lexus, for making huge strides in this area. So now, let's talk price. As with any new car, depending on options, location and market conditions, prices will vary. But MSRP for the 2024 RX 350 is $48,600. While on the high end, you do have to consider that Lexus is a premium automobile maker, and you will appreciate the value once you've had an opportunity to drive it for yourself. So finally, let me give you my pros and cons for this SUV. Pros, beautiful styling, unbelievably quiet ride, roomy, comfortable, all the latest and greatest techie features and Lexus quality which is generally unmatched. Cons, underpowered, intrusive driver management features, horrible information security, very average fuel economy, and the loss of the V6 engine is a real disservice for this vehicle. As I spent more time with it, I found it very comparable to the drive characteristics of the Toyota RAV4. Although the RAV4 is nowhere close in comfort or quiet, the power and feel were nearly identical. Don't get me wrong, I am a big fan of the RAV4 but at this price, there shouldn't even be any comparison. So, in the end, would I buy this car? Probably not, I might consider finding a 2022 RX 350 with the 3.5 liter V6. With that said, I am a Lexus fanboy and don't see that changing anytime soon. 
but I am going to reach out to Lexus and ask them to reconsider their information sharing program and find a way to increase driver privacy. I want to thank you for joining me on this journey, and I hope you found it informative and interesting. Please hit the like, subscribe, and bell notifications, so you are notified as we continue to travel around the country and develop content. We never know where we will end up, and that makes it fun for all of us. We have some great stuff ahead, and I am sure you will be pleased. Thanks again for watching.